Hey guys, welcome back to the Townies of the World Challenge. Uh, today we're gonna do another edition of it. I'm gonna try to record differently. Instead of doing a time lapse of me doing The Sims, I think you guys uh, will accompany me while doing The Sims and I'll like edit it differently. So let's begin, shall we? Let's so let's uh, randomize a gender. So very easy today. Female identifies as female. Got it. Let's pick a country. Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. Okay, let's see what that is. Saint Vincent and Grenadines is an island country in the Caribbean. It is located in the southeast windward islands of the Lesser Antilles, which lie in the West Indies. Okay, so this lady, which is the president of the Permanent Council of Saint Vincent, I think I'm gonna take her as an example. I think she has really nice features. So I'm gonna go with this type of face. We're gonna randomize the style. So Bohemian and Cold Party K. Let's dive in and check on Pinterest. Okay, interesting. Okay, so there's a there's two styles that are pretty similar, which they say it's the Mori Girl one and the Cold Party K. Okay, Cold Party K's silhouette consists of pastel color, lots of layers. Uh, we'll remember that. Lacy and flowing vintage sheer covers. Okay, vintage pajamas. Okay, so pajamas, uh, sheer stuff. Uh, Red accent, okay, interesting. Platform shoes, handmade accessories, tattoo tights, okay. And other J fashion styles, color palettes. Cult Party K often combines elements of other styles to make its own unique look. Here's a few traditional examples, okay, let's sync that in. So ballerinas, uh, a lot of like, yeah, vintage pajama stuff, so I think I'll be looking for that. We also need um, tattoo tights, that I'll try to find. And lots of like, layering too. And like the, the colors, there's like, a, you know, old pink, a little bit of white, um, also like browns and like beige with like a touch of red, like they said. So I think we'll, uh, we'll go with that and we'll implement a little bit of bohemian, maybe in like the accessories or the, the hair choice, maybe. So... I think we'll go with that. So let's go CC shopping, guys. Oh, here. This is cute. I think we can use also like this top with like the red accent. I think that's pretty cute. So we're gonna be downloading that. I'm going to be searching for tattoo uh, leggings because I do have a couple of skirts that are already in my game that I think are gonna be perfect for this. So this is not like that dramatic, but we do need to find uh, some tattoo socks because I don't own any of them in my game. You see this, this watch work. It's just like, it's not the vibe we're looking for, but it's the one that's the most similar, I guess. Because there's a real trend, I mean, if you look at these tights, you've seen them before. Like there's a huge trend, people are doing tattoo tights, but I guess it's not in The Sims yet. Or I just don't know the creator that does them, but I'm gonna go with that. Mm. Yay! I found it! <laughs> After 20 minutes! That's the hair she's gonna have. Okay, let's make this sim, shall we? Let's trip her down. 
Well, we're pretty lucky. We have a pretty nice base sim. I put the hair first. So I'm sure I want to go for this. Let's go back and look at the face again. Okay, so let's try to match the skin tone. I'm just gonna really sink in her face. We're coming back. It's a pretty small eyebrow, but like she kind of had like an also an arch to them. Maybe like this. Uh, yeah. Whoa. No. And my cast is lagging, guys. <laughs> Uh, let's see which brown we're gonna go with. Yeah, this is nice. Then I go with the skin tone because quite important. Yeah, that I really like. Then we can go for skin details. So then I can work around the face with the skin details. And I'm gonna go with this one. Or this one. Yeah, this one's nice. Oh, let's see. Yeah, stick to scum. Yeah, more pointy. Like this. Not too sure about the eyes, guys. Not too sure. Mm, no. Yeah, okay, she has kind of the eyes. Um, yeah, they don't go up, they kind of go down. Actually. Yeah, maybe a bit more of something like this. Oh, yeah, she's really beautiful. Okay, let's slap some more skin details on her. Yeah. This. Just to define a little bit of her nose. Maybe some type of hairline. Okay, let's slap this because I love it. It's just a bit of definition. The face. This too. Okay, let's slap her body in, like this. Okay, let's put the top that I downloaded. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, as for the skirts, because obviously we're gonna put her in a skirt, because they were all either wearing dresses or skirts. Uh, something that looks a bit like a pajama, so vintage pajama. So what I had in mind that I already had was maybe like something like this, but again, I don't know if you see, but it's kind of weird. <laughs> it has a weird shape. Yeah, I think that's pretty cute, honestly. She's so cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, nice. Yeah, pink is cute. I also need my tights, not to forget. I mean, these are not the one I know, but they're kind of cute. And I think that, oh no, they're here. They're not fitting. Because they're too, like, color blocked. You know, they're not uh, transparent enough for me. So I think I'm going to go with these. Yeah, I think these are the cutest, honestly. Yeah, I think I'll leave her like that and I'll give her like maybe a little necklace. Nah, maybe that. And then we're gonna honor her with the Mew Mew Ballerina. This is her final look. As you can see, it's a perfect crossover between Cold Party K and Bohemian. I couldn't layer a cardigan because I didn't find one that was not clipping with the rest of the clothes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, please leave some below. I also wanted to talk about some concept I was thinking about. Because I was wondering, do you guys like more of the research part? Do you want me to show more of the CC part, the, the create a sim part? Uh, there's also one aspect that I wanted to implement which is like we spend the day with the sim and we do like whatever the sims want or do you want to keep it like a cast video and then I'll do the gameplay in the other series so let me know in the comments below what do you think is a good idea also are the videos too long is that format relevant or do you like the other format better Please let me know.